With the recent release of Fall of the Reich by Iron Fist Publishing and Desperate Measures by Battlefront, you could be forgiven for thinking that the war will be over by Christmas. With this convergence in interest on the late war period, I thought it would be interesting to review the Camouflage Profile Guide 1945 German Colours, kindly supplied by Fernando Vallejo over at AK Interactive. 1945 German Colours is an A4 softbound 72 page book published by AK Interactive, written by the renowned Mig Jimenez and Carlos Cuesta and edited by Fernando Vallejo. Colours illustrates through over 150 colour profiles the colours and camouflage schemes applied to German vehicles in the last five months of the war, along with 27 hypothetical schemes if the war had continued on into 1946. Colours is available direct from AK Interactive for €18.50 with free worldwide shipping. That's about £15 or $25. US Let's take a closer look at the content itself. Colours opens with a prologue by MIG outlining the dilemma posed for historically minded modellers and one supposes war gamers obliged to work from black and white photographs before indicating a late war German colour palette informed by the historical evidence available and consultation with recognised expert Mirko Bayal. The introduction follows which describes how a close examination and interpretation of the photographic record derived from, amongst others, the work of Bill Uerbach and Lee Archer authors of the Panzerex series, informed the colour prints that follow. The authors recognise that any such interpretation, whilst informed, will remain subjective, indicating that the subsequent prints come from an artistic point of view, using an objective perspective. Of course, this won't be of interest to many, but I found it beneficial to understand the methodology applied to this, the most accessible and comprehensive published account of German camouflage schemes at the very end of the war. The prints that follow cover the full range of German vehicles deployed in 1945, from Panzer III's, Panzer IV's, Panzer V's, interspersed with rarer or obsolete vehicles like this Panzer 38T destroyed in East Prussia in February 1945, Tiger II's, including one with an intriguing octopus pattern, Hetzers, Jag Tigers, Jag Panthers, and Jag Panzers follow, before we're presented with Marder III's, Stugs, a captured Su-100, SDK FZ-251 half-tracks, Panzerwerfer 42s, Brumbar, Hummel and Sturm Tigers, soft-skin vehicles, armoured cars, and dedicated anti-aircraft assets like Mobilwagen or these Verbalvins. There's something here for every level of painting ability, from the monochrome finish on this Puma to the disc camouflage on this Brumbar, with everything in between. Of particular interest is the eclectic way in which different schemes were combined, and it would have been nice to see an insert illustrating the exact source similar to that included at the start of the book. The paper panzers illustrated in the second part of Colours will be of particular interest to Dust Tactics fans and all those into Here 46's kits and Weird World War II. Prints are pure conjecture, but it's interesting to see how future German vehicles like the E-50 Coelian or the E-100 Maus or other medium to super heavy tanks may have looked. Colours closes with a section devoted to actual 135th scale kits and a useful bibliography if you're interested in finding out more. Overall, Colours is an excellent addition to modellers and wargamers understanding of late war German colour schemes that moves beyond the routine Dunkelgelb debate. Inspirational full colour prints derived from the photographic records of both the Western and Eastern fronts provide an accessible and affordable reference guide for painting late war German armoured fighting vehicles. One for the Christmas list perhaps?